Pop look this and cause you're gonna hear A brand new story about a great engineer He's the greatest of them all we claim Number one's his engine, Casey Jones, his name Casey Jones, steaming and rolling Casey Jones, you never have to guess When you hear the tooting of the whistle It's Casey at the throttle of the cannonball yes. Casey Jones, steaming and rolling Casey Jones, you never have to guess When you hear the tooting of the whistle It's Casey at the throttle of the cannonball express Mistake, boy. I'd put that gun away if I were you. You're not me, and don't call me boy. I'm not telling you again. Stop this train. I'll take the passengers. You check the baggage car. Hey, conductor, why have we stopped here? What? I don't know. I'm new on this run, a regular man's sick. I'll find out. Hold up, mister. It's a hold up. They just don't try and make any trouble, and there won't be any. Two more, Willis. Start picking them clean. Pretty poor pickings, you ask me. Except her. She's kind of cute. This lady is my wife. So? Never mind the women. Get busy. Sure. I'll start with you. Hand it over. I got nothing worth taking. Just my watch and the sample case. The money. Get it out. I told you. I swear I haven't got any. I'm warning you, mister. Look, young hoodlums like you don't scare me. If I was your father... I warned you against making any trouble. I don't let anybody else try. It figured. Sure. Where'd you hide the registered mail? I didn't hide it. We ain't carrying any this trip. That's right. It's the truth. If we had it, we'd turn it over. The safety of our passengers means more to this line than any money we might be carrying. Looks like we got a wrong steer. What do we do now? Only one thing to do. They all witnessed me shoot them. I guess you're right. Just a minute. If I tell you where to find the registered mail, will you let us go? I thought you weren't carrying it. We aren't. Then tell it, mister. Only tell it fast. Not till you give us your word, you'll let us all go. Give me your word, Willis. All right. You got it. It's coming through on the next train. When's that? About 7 o'clock. 
That's six hours from now. We can't wait around that long. We'll wait. We'll wait right here. When I get my hands on that mail, you all can go. The next train will never come through if the dispatcher at Canyon City doesn't get word we've cleared Sweetwater. Where's Sweetwater? Ten miles from here. It's a way station with a telegrapher. Not even a town there. We're moving. I'll ride up front with the engineer. You round up the horses. You watch this bunch. Like a hawk. Especially her. I'm gonna like watching her. You know something? She's even prettier than the one in Kansas City. I was thinking that. You guys think of nothing but women? Now get the horses. Throw him off when we get moving. Let me put him in the baggage car, mister. The least you can do is let him get a decent burial. Suit yourself. Stop here unless it was trouble. What's up, Casey? Tell him. We're being held up, Gus. They're after the registered mail. I told them was coming through on the next train. Signal the Canyon City dispatcher that we cleared here, so it will come through. Sh sure, Casey. It looks like we're in no position to argue. Bring him in here, Jackie. Sure. wrong, mister. You think I'd let you near that key if I didn't know code? I'd have shot his head off, not his hand. You might get your chance if he tries something again. Go kill the fire in that boiler. I want to make sure that train don't move. You gave me your word you'd let us go. Hey, that's right. And I'm a man who likes to keep his word when it's convenient. Now, till that next train gets here, you better see that nothing happens to make it inconvenient. in five hours to seven o'clock. We got just well all sit down, make ourselves comfortable. gather. I'll accept him. You don't look like he likes us. Just what I've been thinking. You think a man with a wife as pretty as he's got would be just a little more neighborly? Kind of selfish, you ask me. 
won't answer them, Will. They're just trying to provoke you. <laughs> Looks like she's the one who should be wearing the uniform. That's a fact. I never did like uniforms anyway. Stand up and take it off. You heard him, soldier boy. Take it off. He don't hear so good. He's not doing anything to you. Why don't you leave him alone? Are you looking for trouble, mister? Nobody's looking for trouble but you two. He don't give a man much choice, does he? You win. I gave him my word, didn't I? I didn't. I'll still tell you when. Get outside. What are the horses? I wouldn't be in a rush with any thanks if I were you. You got a gun? No. We could barricade the door and the windows and try to keep them outside. No, they just set fire to the place and smoke us out. I don't see any need to do anything but sit tight and wait till that train comes through at 7 o'clock. And I agree. Their leader looks to me like a man of his word. No sense in risking his displeasure. That's just something we don't know. Tell them, Casey. Sooner or later, they gotta know. The registered mail came in on a train ahead of us. There won't be another train through here today. We've just got four hours to live. You'd have been dead two hours ago if Case hadn't told him there's another train coming. There's something we can think of, something we can do. There's a gun on the train, isn't there? Yeah, in the coach. We could get to it, we might stand a chance. If. And what happens after that? One gun against three gunslingers. No, my friend. Gambling's my business, and I don't like these odds. You got a better idea? Could be. Well, I'd like to hear it. I haven't got time to discuss. What are you going to do? There are three horses out there. I'm not waiting around to get slaughtered. Now, don't be a fool. You'll never make it. You're jeopardizing the lives of everyone in this room. You play your hand, I'll play mine. Get it over with. Better wait until he gets back.
Willis has been gone over an hour. I wonder what's keeping him. Shouldn't take him this long to catch up with that tin horn. You don't have to worry about Willis. I guess not. If I was you too, I'd worry. Nobody asked you. What did you mean by that? Well, the other man got a pretty good start. No tin horn's gonna outride Willis. Well, then why isn't he back? Canyon City's not too far from here. With luck, the fellow he was chasing could be with the sheriff's posse right now. Willis might have changed his mind about coming back. I'm gonna have me a look. Wait a minute. It worked, Casey. They've both gone for the horse. One of them's leaving. The other's coming back. No better off than before. It'll be easier to take one man than two. We'll wait our chance, try to jump him. Everybody stay in their seats. Start something. That's all I want. Just one of you to start something, that's all. He's not going to give us the chance. If only one of us could get by him, reach that gun on the train. He's too triggered. No one is getting by him now. I think I can. Jeannie. I don't think he'll do anything to me, and if it means our lives, it's worth the chance. Where is the gun? Tell her, Ed. On the ledge over the stove. Where do you think you're going? There's a lady in here feeling a little faint. I'd like to get some smelling salts out of my suitcase. If you don't mind. All right. Get. The gun ain't there. Willis found it. Nothing gets by Willis. <laughs> What's your hurry? Got none. Probably in his saddlebags. Take your wife back in the station. Tell the others to sit tight. Wally and I'll build steam in the engine as fast as we can. How long will it take? Well, at least an hour. We'll have to build a fire on the boiler from scratch. The other two are sure to be back before then. He's right, Casey. You've only got one bullet in that gun. Let's worry about things as they happen, not before. Hold much longer. They can't have steam up yet. Only been at it half an hour. I'll check. How's the pressure, Casey? We've only got 25 pounds. We need at least 100 to start. 
Get up on the tender and keep your eye peeled, will you? Willis, alone. He's leading the gambler's horse. Keep low and out of sight, huh? there, Willis. One of your sidekicks is dead, the other's gone. Take your hand away from that gun and turn around. I ain't turned around. And if you want my gun, you're gonna have to take it from me. Why don't you shoot? That's the difference between us, Casey. That's what makes you an engineer and me what I am. You couldn't kill a man in cold blood. He's dead. But it's him or you. Get his gun and cartridge belt. Load this gun and get the passengers aboard. Wally and I will be feeding the boiler. If that third one shows up, before we can move, he'll sure have the edge on us. He had a rifle in his saddle boot. I know. Come on, Wally. Hold on, Wally. She won't take another stick. We just have to sit here and wait for that pressure to go up where you can move her out. Get up there and keep a lookout. Yes, Two pounds pressure. down here at this hour. Well, Mom sent me over to find out why you were so late getting in. Dispatcher didn't know. What happened to your face? Well, we ran into a little trouble. It's all over now. Mom was worried stiff, as usual. Well, we'll go home and ease her mind, huh? You'll put her away in the barn for me, won't you? Sure, Casey. You know something, Dad? I'm sure glad I'm not a woman. Always worrying themselves sick about nothing. Casey 
comes a rolling by again With the steaming boiler and the smoking stack And the wheels strike a thunder from the railroad track There'll be Casey Jr. and the Red Rock too Fireman Wally and the rest of the crew In a thrilling adventure that's a lot of fun When Casey takes the throttle for another run Casey Jones, steaming and rolling Casey Jones, you never have to guess When you hear the juicing of the whistle It's Casey at the throttle